Okay, is this recording? I hope it's recording. I'm using my, like, camera, camera, again, my little, my Canon camera, because, um, like I said yesterday, or the day before, or whenever this is, um, my video camera, my lovely high-definition video camera, died, and I haven't been able to find my charger for it. I literally can't find my charger. So, cry. Just cry. And my hair is doing, I'm very apologetic for my hair today. It's doing things. I'm not sure what it's doing, but it's doing things. Um, it's decided not to listen to me. Guess what I did? I got myself a new setup. If you look behind me, I actually have, like, things done. And it's it's me in a, on a shelf. There's some, some horror things over here and some art things over here. I don't know if you can see any of this crap because my big bulbous noggin is in the way. But that's all good. I'm just chilling here now waiting for my boyfriend to get home. So, um, I reorganized all my DVDs. All of them. So, I'm going to start again with the uh, my DVD collection because now they're actually in order on the shelves alphabetically by genre so it's fantastic um i'm gonna start with a to z i think or box sets i'll start with the box sets over there so i have to get them i always do this excuse me yeah i'm just gonna start with these box sets i'm sorry if i repeat some because i was very unorganized very and didn't <laughs> yeah i needed to start over just just start over completely so yeah um i'm gonna start with these things if anybody's seen any of my other videos you've seen these already um they're my three there's three of them blood soaked cinema the blood soaked cinema um there's a night to dismember which is my favorite one. Stay in sleeve. Stay in sleeve. They have these nifty sleeves, by the way. They look like this. The sleeve is all nifty and stuff. I've had these a very long time, too. A very long time. Um, it has things like Insaniac, which I really like because it's really weird. I like weird. I am weird. Um, the Bone Setter. Hardcore Poison Eyes. I like that one. Phobias. Bloodletting. Ozone. Last House on Hell Street. There's, yeah, there's there's 12 movies on this, and it was like $12 when I bought it, or like something like that, so yeah. Um, I've explained all the movies before, I'm not going to get into them again, because I'll be here all freaking day. Uh, I should probably organize this. I just spent all day organizing this stuff, I am not going to organize it again. Uh, Tormented Souls is another one, has Unhinged on it, and... Uh, I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it has unhinged on it. Um, the Invisible Ghost. That has Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi in it. And Carnival Souls is on this, which is really cool. Um, the 1962 one. Good Against Evil, that's what I was looking for. That has Kim Cattrall in it. She's from Sex and the City, if nobody knows who that is. Um, Back from the Grave, Zombies. I love zombies. Slave of the Cannibal God is on here. I Bury the Living. The Undertaker and His Pals. Uh, I Eat Your Skin, Murder Mansion. Yeah, there's a few on there that's pretty interesting. Then I have... Why did I face these away from myself? Why? I have my... <laughs> okay. What's happening? What is happening? Get this straight, Tara. Organization. Organization is key. <laughs> I have. Go over there. These are the uh, Midnight Horror Collection ones that I've picked up. These are like $5 at Walmart. Most of the time, uh, this is Midnight Horror Collection Serial Killers, um, Interview with a Serial Killer, Frozen in Fear, Dead of Winter, and Disturbed. Um, I haven't watched all these yet. I haven't got around to it. 
This is the Midnight Horror Collection Flesh Eating Zombies Collection. And it has Last of the Living, which I actually really liked Last of the Living. It was funny. Um, Grave Mistake was pretty funny too. Awaken the Dead and I Am Omega are on there. Of course I bought this. I saw this and had to have it. It's the Midnight Horror Collection. Um, the Puppet Master, Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3. Um, yeah. I, I saw it there. I had to have it. Memories. And these are the two 8-packs that I've gotten. Um, of the Midnight Horror Collection, Volume 3 and Volume 8. Apparently there's like up to 8 volumes of this and I have Volume 3 and 8. Uh, this one actually has a double on it that I have... I actually bought on DVD as well. It has Mortuary. I love that movie. It's amazing. Night Shadows on here. Secrets of the Clown. I won't watch that because I'm afraid of clowns. Uh, I'll get there. Room 33 is on here. I haven't watched through like any of these. I haven't even put this one on yet. I should probably do that. Night Shadows there. That looks kind of cool. And the 8 movie pack. I watched through this. Some of it. But I bought it because of this little gem here. Which is Evil Bong. It's a Richard Brand. So... Why does it say Richard Brand? <laughs> Who's Richard Brand? <laughs> Charles Band. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to like look this guy up, like Google Richard Brand and find out who the fuck Richard Brand is because that name was just in my head for some reason. Charles Band. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I fail at life sometimes. I do. Yeah. But anyway, Demonic Toys is on that too, and that seems to freak me out. Witchcraft 13, Blood of the Chosen. There's a gem. Uh, <laughs> Richard Brand. <laughs> I, I can't wait till Bradley does one. That's a good one. Um, these are some random packs that I've got. This actually... Um, Nobody's going to have heard of this one before because it's a Cinemassacre, Cinemassacre film collection and cinematic catastrophes. Um, Cinemassacre is this website that I love, mostly for a character that James, is James Rolfe is the guy, and he yeah, plays a character called the Angry Video Game Nerd, and I'm a big nerd, but uh, I haven't even opened this yet. I I, I can't bear to open it because it's such a, it's like a, I don't know, a collector's thing to me. I'm hoping that the time when I open it is going to be the time when I can get James to sign it. Um, but he makes these little movies. He's actually really adorable. I love James. Um, yeah, uh, Cinemassacre 200. Uh, Kung Fu Werewolf from Outer Space, It Came from the Toilet, The Dragon in My Dreams, Cinemaphobia, and Curse of the Cat Lover's Grave. I mean, these things are just... <laughs> they're fun little things. And, like, they're not movies. One is two minutes long, and one is nine minutes, and the longest one on here is uh, Kung Fu Werewolf from Outer Space, and that's 26 minutes. So, yeah, I just haven't gotten around to watching these yet, but you should go check out the Cinemassacre's website. There, he's really funny. James is really funny. And he, he loves horror a lot. And he is retardedly funny when he's reviewing horror movies. This is another one that I bought for one of the movies that was on it. It's the Horror 4 Pack Volume 1. And has Midnight Movie on it, which I actually like. It's funny. I haven't watched the rest of Oh no, I've watched The Attic. I thought that was good. I haven't watched these two yet, Carver or Outrage. I should probably watch those soon. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I buy things, like some of these stuff are still in the packaging. I bought them just because they look interesting and I never watched them. Um, this is the one I was talking about in my pickups there the other day. I'm not gonna bother going through that again. I'm just gonna say that I did watch all the movies and um, they must eat was actually pretty good, like the acting wasn't the best and stuff, but what I liked the most about They Must Eat was the uh, the ghoul effects. Those things, I love them. They did a really good job on the ghoul effects, like the effects of the, well, ghouls that's in them, these guys. And they were actually done really well. The better one on there is Little Red Devil with Daniel Baldwin and Dee Wallace. Doesn't make much sense, but I didn't expect it to, but 
I really like Daniel Baldwin, so he plays a very good character in it. I have Tales from the Grave, which, um, <laughs> it's a ripoff. <laughs> it is a ripoff because, um, well, they're all Charles Band, but, well, produced by Charles Band, yeah. But, uh, they changed the name of some of, like, some horror movies. Like, this one, Beyond Death. That is actually one of my favorite movies that I have here. It's like a snippet from uh, The Dead Hate the Living, which is one of my favorite B movies. Or C or D or whatever you want to put that one on because, yeah. I'm trying to find it. Oh, okay. Okay, like it should be here somewhere. Under the D. See, just look at this. Look at this cover. It's the Dead Hate the Living. And you look at this picture right here. And yeah, it's the same freaking thing. Um, yeah, that upset me actually when I watched it. I like bought this thing expecting like, hey, you know, Tales from the Grave, I'll buy it. Brides of the Dead is the only thing that I haven't seen somewhere else. Uh, the Rotting Dead, actually I have on one of those blood-soaked cinema called Dead and Rotting. It's, yeah, and I actually enjoyed that one. So this one actually upset me a lot, but, hey, I have it. Um, I bought this one because Sleepaway Camp was on it. It was five bucks at Walmart, another one of these double feature things. And uh, the House Bought a Cemetery is on there too. But I wanted Sleepaway Camp, so I bought it. Uh, this one's not particularly horror, but I put it in with the horror because it kind of is. It's just a double, double feature with Devil's Advocate and Insomnia on it. Um, I liked both those movies for something that, like a little more serious than what I usually watch. So that's why I bought those. And this one I absolutely love because <laughs> I have a thing for... I'm going to go really male on you guys now, which is probably going to worry you guys. It's like, um, she is a girl, right? Yes, I am. I have boobies. I'm a girl. Um, but I have a thing for schoolgirls, and that's why I bought this. So, Scream Bloody Murder. <laughs> and El Cupacabra. Not that one of these movies are particularly great, but I do love Scream Bloody Murder. I've watched it several times. But El Cupacabra, I've probably watched twice, but... Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Just enjoy my randomness. Um, the rest that were on that shelf, because I have it organized by shelf, I'm going to do a shelf at a time, is my uh, collections that are all like in one box. So I have the uh, Alien Quadrilogy here. It's the, it's the big one with all the lovely features and stuff. Yeah, this was uh, something that I've been looking for for a long time, and we found it one day, and I had to have it. Um, cycle 2, 3, and 4 on a little box set here. Why not? I love Anthony Perkins. He's cute. Leprechaun, the three Leprechaun movies. I've explained those before. Yeah, three Leprechaun movies. This was in my pickups. It's the Scream Collection. Been through that. I have the uh, Prom Night Collection. Show you the English side. With all four movies. Yeah. And that was in my pickups. Still in the packaging. I haven't gotten around to going through it yet, looking at it. I'm not really into it. I got carried away by scene in movie. Girls kissing. Um, I put this in with the horror just because I didn't know where else to put it, but it is the Skulls trilogy. So, yeah. I got that. And that's it for that shelf. So, it'll be a lot easier to go through my stuff here now. So, yay. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. I love you all. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll stick around. And I'll see you later. And bye. Kisses.